is Sir James, your math teacher, and welcome to our math video tutorials. Ngayong araw ay pag-aaralan natin ang tungkol sa changing improper fraction to mixed number and vice versa. Para sa ating objectives ngayon, first, we're going to change improper fraction to mixed number. Second, change mixed number to improper fraction. Let's go first in changing improper fraction to mixed number. Expressing an improper fraction as mixed number is commonly used when simplifying a fraction. Example, we're going to convert 13 fifths as mixed number. So kung babalikan natin, ang improper fraction are fraction whose numerator is greater than its denominator. So 13 over 5 is an improper fraction and then we're going to convert that one to a mixed number. There are two ways to involve in changing improper fraction to mixed number. First, divide the numerator by the denominator using long division. So if we have 13 fifths, we just simply divide its numerator which is 13 by its denominator, which is 5. So we have 13 divided by 5 is equals to 2. Next operation, multiplication. 2 times 5 is equals to 10. Next operation, subtract. 3 minus 0 is equals to 3. 1 minus 1 is equals to 0. So therefore, our quotient is 2. And we have a remainder, which is 3. Last step, the quotient will be the whole number part of the mixed number. The remainder will be the numerator of the fraction part over the denominator. So how is that? So this 13 fifths will become 2 and 3 fifths. So kung babalikan natin yung step 2, yung kanyang quotient ay naging whole number. Yung kanyang remainder na 3 ay naging numerator. At ang ating denominator or ang divisor na 5 is still 5. So therefore, 13 fifths becomes 2 and 3 fifths. Please also note that 13 over 5 is equal to 2 and 3 over 5. Let's proceed to our next example. We're going to convert 22 over 7 as mixed number. First step again, we're going to divide the numerator by the denominator using long division. So if we have 22 over 7, we just simply divide the numerator, the 22, by its denominator, which is 7. So 22 divided by 7 is equal to 3. Next operation, we're going to multiply. 3 times 7 is equal to 21. Then, subtract. 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. So the quotient is 3 and the remainder is 1. Last step, the quotient will be the whole number part of the mixed number. The remainder will be the numerator of the fraction part over the denominator. So the 22 over 7 will become 3 and 1, 7. Kung titignan natin ang ating illustration, the quotient 3 becomes the whole number. The remainder 1 becomes the numerator. And the divisor 7 becomes 7 of. So therefore, we have 3 and 1, 7. Kung napapansin ninyo na ang ating denominator ay hindi nagbabago. So again, 22 over 7 is also equal to 3 and 1, 7. Now this time, we're going to change mixed number 
to improper fraction. Example, we're going to convert 3 and 2 fifths as improper fraction. There are two ways to involve. Step 1, multiply the whole number by the denominator. If we have 3 and 2 fifths, we just simply multiply the whole number 3 times the denominator which is 5. So 3 times 5 is equal to 15. Next step, add the product by its numerator. So yung product natin na 15, we're going to add at 1 by its numerator na 2. So we have 15 plus 2 is equals to 17. And last step, write the answer over the denominator. Our answer is 17 and our denominator is 5. So 3 and 2 fifths will become 17 over 5. Last example, convert 8 and 3 fourths as improper fraction. If you have 8 and 3 fourths, step 1, multiply the whole number by the denominator. Whole number the 8 times the denominator which is 4. So 8 times 4 is 32. Next step, add the product by its numerator. So the product is 32. We're going to add by the numerator which is 3. 32 plus 3 is equal to 35. Last step, write the answer over the denominator. So if we have 8 and 3 fourths, that will become 35 over 4. So 8 and 3 fourths is equal to 35 over 4. Ngayon naman, subukan nga natin kung natuto ka sa araling ito. Maaari mong sagutan ang mga sumusunod na katanungan sa pamamagitan ng pag-post ng video ito. Dahil sa susunod yung slide ay papakita ko ang tamang sagot. For our set A, convert each fraction as mixed number. Number 1, 19 over 4. Number 2, 26 over 5. Number 3, 11 over 3. For our set B, we're going to convert mixed number as improper fraction. Number 1, 5 and 2 sevenths. Number 2, 8 and 2 fifths. Number 3, 6 and 1 third. Kung natapos mo na, narito ang tamang sagot. Tama ba ang mga sagot mo? Kung tama, ay binabati kita. Ibig sabihin, natuto ka sa araw na ito. Hanggang dito na lamang. Hanggang sa susunod ulit ating video tutorials. Again, this is Sir James, ang inyong virtual math teacher. Maraming salamat. Paalam! Thank you.